So like many of you, we've gotten several updates from Vans and a couple of emails and where do we go from here? Uh, it's kind of still clear as mud for me. Uh, there's a lot to consider. So uh, laser cut part update for us. Uh, we've gone over our fuselage and tail kit with a fine tooth comb and also cross reference dates. We are not we have no laser cut parts in the tail kit or the fuse, so we're lucky there. These quick build wings that are behind us, so they arrived uh, in March. We haven't touched them since they arrived, which uh, kind of wasn't our normal, our original plan. We thought we would have done more with them by now. But the, the, the wings behind us, we do feel that there's a likelihood of laser cut parts. We did some videos earlier where we thought we were kind of in the clear and maybe we're being a little over optimistic. Yeah. Um, but <clears throat> so I have been sticking my, uh, bore scope camera all in these wings, but I still haven't done a full inspection in the main wing body. Uh, we did see some very small cracks on the dimples in our flap assembly on the, uh, Ford, uh, the, the, the Ford Spar. And then you can't even see inside the ailerons. Cannot get inside the ailerons at all. They're sealed up. So, you know, I'm assuming both the Ford Spars on the ailerons and the uh, flaps are on the red replace list. Um, it's not going to be easy to replace the spar on the ailerons or flaps. So I'm really thinking our strategy there is... Uh, just order enough parts from Vans to rebuild the airlines and flaps and see if we can work with Vans to make that not a costly uh, mm -hmm. expense. But um, Considering we've already paid extra for, for them to build it. Build. <laughs> yes. So that's the real problem. So if you have a stack of laser cut parts that you haven't assembled, this is really an inconvenience, but not a huge problem. You just get them replaced and build on when they arrive. Yes, you get a built-in break because, you know, you got to wait for logistics. A, you got to wait for that logistics. Now, if you've already built or like us, uh, the fine people in Brazil did the build-in for us and we paid a premium for that. Now, what do we do? So I spent some time today really sticking the camera through a couple of the parts that were listed in the main wing. And I don't see any overt indication that we have laser cut parts uh, or uh, cracks on the main wing. Our inspection is not done, but the problem is our wings are kind of tucked away because our fuselage has taken up our main work area. And I really haven't had quite the time to dig through it yet and to be honest we got other things uh kind of other priorities right now looming over us <laughs> we're literally hopefully days away if not hours away from um going into labor with our baby so a lot of this is going to be sit and wait and uh we'll deal with it later and hopefully the dust clears a little bit from vans uh, i'm hoping i dig through the the main wing spar and don't find many cracks if so at least the main unit is in good shape and we can use that um, even if the flaps and airlines have cracks in it, heck, we can probably even fly it for a while <laughs> with those on and uh, rebuild them later before our first, um, before we get it painted, probably on our first annual condition report. Before we get it painted, I would really, really just be devastated if this ruins our paint job. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're not going to have it painted if we're going to, uh, know that we've got to tear something apart. I mean, that's just, we'll, we'll delay our paint job. So, um, but again, when I was sticking the camera through there on first pass, it was like, oh, we're in the clear, we're in the clear. The, the, the cracks are so small. So we're really wondering what, how, how big of a deal we're going to find. Um, I think I'm fine with some tiniest cracks on non-stress parts. The big parts we do need to make sure we follow Van's advice and replace. But if we find some of those impossible to replace parts, um, I don't know. So really the conversation we're gonna have to have with Van's is what do us people do who have quick build kits who have already arrived and have laser cut parts in them? Um, all the Van's guidance doesn't cover that. I know if you have a quick build on order and it's back in um, Oregon, 
they're going to tear it apart and replace the parts before sending it to you. But what do we do when we've, I mean, we already spent $2,000 in shipping to <laughs> yeah. get these here. That's just the shipping. Um, can we ship them back to vans? I mean, we're looking at another $4,000 round trip. <laughs> um, and I get it. You know, if we're dealing with a much bigger company, we're going to be thinking vans suck it up and, um, pay all these extra expenses and make it right for us. But we're a builder, we're a community of home builders and vans is not a big company. And if our, even if our requests are reasonable, it's the kind of thing that can end a company like vans. And I, we definitely don't want that. We don't want that. They only have so deep of pockets that they can do. And I know they're trying everything they can. So short story is we're gonna start inspecting our wings in more detail using the, the, the parts that are highlighted in red to see, do I see any signs of laser cut parts? Because they're not smacking me in the face saying they're here. And if we do find some minor ones, you know, I mean, I, I'm not scared of drilling some rivets out and replacing some things. I do not want to completely disassemble our quick build wings to rebuild them. Um, the fuel tanks are really my big, big concern at this point, making sure they're good. So laser cut parts, uh, it's a saga. Um, try your best to not beat vans up. Uh, do, do go get your parts ordered that you need. Um, and you know, keep on building. Uh, it's sad to know that some of our people that we know and we've met through this channel are kind of thrown in the towel and uh, given up. Um, I get it. I understand why. Uh, but hopefully most of us don't because think about this 10 years from now, we're going to look back and not really think about this anymore. We're going to be flying our awesome airplanes. Uh, and that's really what this is about. So, um, don't let vans get away with everything, but also try to find that happy medium. And I think that's my goal is to find that happy medium of, uh, if we find something that needs to be replaced, we're going to really work with vans to make it work. Uh, I'm willing to meet in the middle, uh, but at the same time, this really sucks. It sucks. It's just a fiasco. A laser cut parts sounded like a possible way to speed up supply chain. And I know if they had to do over again, they would never utter the word laser again in their career. Um, so, but they're good people there. Um, and I feel for them and I, um, I just want to get flying. Yeah. Um, so, uh, we'll see. I still got more reading to do on the engineering report. I've read through it some, um, says a lot without really saying a lot. <laughs> uh, I hate to say it. Uh, it's important information in there, but, um, I get it. Most of the laser cut parts, there's no different, even if it has the flaws in it. There's no difference in the longevity of a punch part. I get it, but what if? And this whole saga has been built on the what ifs. It's like, oh, I'm sure you'll be fine. Oh, wait, you're not. Oh, wait, you're not. And I don't want to build this plane to find out 10 years from now that, you know, we're just chasing all kinds of gremlins that we could have dealt with while we were building it. So got to find that middle ground. It's, um, it's a tough position. I'm still hoping that we dig through this main wing assembly and go, we really don't have a whole lot to worry about because <sighs> that would be nice. Yeah. For me, it comes down to how much bigger of a financial burden is this going to be on us. Yeah, we don't have unlimited funds to finish this airplane. We, we, had, we had a little startup to get us going. You know, we sold our house to do this and everything was kind of accounted for yep. but did we account for you know an extra five thousand in parts or an extra ten thousand in parts we don't know well like i said vans should pay for the main parts but if we want to do some of the luxury items then that's on us yeah uh shipping is going to be a thing um i just we're just we're gonna have to sift through it um i know there's a lot of people on social media saying going on all ends of the spectrum um our official stances were in the middle, um, trying to find that middle ground. Um, um, it is disappointing that we spent the extra money in quick build wings and now we get to yeah. unbuild them. <laughs> and it would have been better had we just ordered the slow build, 
because then we would have gotten a batch right before laser cut parts. And then we would have slow built it. Um, but coulda, shoulda, woulda. Um, this is what we have in front of us. And, um, you know, I don't know if we, you know, honestly, I would ship this back and uh, take a slow build at this point. Um, but I don't think that's going to be an option. So we will just play it by ear and see. Yes. But my big problem is I just can't work in this garage right now. It's so full. So our, <laughs> our real plan is to get that uh, fuselage into a storage unit so we can pull these wings out uh, shortly after uh, baby Amelia gets here. We'll um, kind of spend some time on the wings. But if we pull it out and realize it's full of the laser cut parts, it's going to change our plans. Dramatically. So. All right, so this assembly here, this whole sandwiched on both sides is um, one of the parts that's labeled as uh, to replace. This is the push rod um, bracket. Um, dug around with it with uh, my camera earlier and looks good so far. Um, the other big problem is some of these ribs right in here uh the the ribs that attach to the flap here uh and here those will be the really hard ones to um get apart and replace um so really hoping we don't have to do that but the good news is i should be able to inspect all those rivets really well uh using the bore scope camera so we're gonna <clears throat> spend some more focus time trying to do that here in the near future um and then if we have to replace some of these ribs, I'm sure that's uh, very doable for us. Um, the ones that have the flat bracket attached. We will see. So um, stay tuned. Uh, thanks for watching us on 14 Victor Echo. See you next time.